Hi and welcome to another video by me, FlowJo. Today we are going to be looking at the range function on Power Automate. So what is the range function? Well, let's say we had a number of five. Now it's going to be an integer. And then we want to get a range of numbers after that and return to us in an array. Now, let's say we've got five and we want to get to 10. Well, we want to get five, six, seven, eight, etc. So how do we eventually end up at 10 then? Well, if we use the range function and pass five in, because that's our starting value, so we're starting at five, and then we put the amount that we want to increase to. Now, what you need to remember is that it also includes the one you start with. So for example, if we want to get to 10, we need to include six because we are starting at five and we're adding five, but we also need to include the initial value of five, which would be obviously the first iteration. So if we pass this through, what we get back is we get a return array of integers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's see this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate and we've got a manual trigger for our flow. And then we're using a compose action to generate a range of ints. So what we're going to be using in this compose action is the range function. And as you can see here, I've passed in five. So we're starting at the integer of five and then we're going to get a range of six numbers. So we're going to include five and then we're going to add an additional five on. So we'll end up with five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So let's just kick this flow off. Okay, so our flow has run successfully and let's see what we get back. And as you can see here, we now have a range of numbers as an array from five all the way through to 10. So we have a total of six numbers. Hence the six that you put in at the end. And that is how you use range to automatically generate a range of integers easily in an array on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.